So we're back with Gina Carano and the whole Star Wars situation that's going on. Because SJWs have not gotten done building high ground for her. I mean, she has managed to hold her own and refuse to back down to a bunch of morons on the internet who just cannot be satisfied with a separate opinion. They can't accept it. Everything must be sanitized to their standard. All right? Uh, here with Gina Carano. They're mad because I won't put pronouns in my bio to show my support for trans lives. After months of harassing me in every way, I decided to put three very controversial words in my bio. Beep, bop, boop. I'm not, I'm not against trans lives at all. They need to find less abusive representation. I don't think trans people would like all of you forcing, trying to force a woman to put something in her bio through harassment and name calling every day for months. Such as racist, transphobe, bitch, weirdo, hope you die, hope you lose your career, you're fat, you're ugly. And Gina Carano makes a very good point. She, she won... She handles this like you should handle these people, okay? She throws in some humor, beep, bop, boop. And this is actually kind of interesting because it's kind of like the attack helicopter meme. For those who don't understand what attack heli the point of the attack helicopter meme. Uh, according to SJWs, especially ones who do the whole Twitter bio thing, there's an infinite number, there's an infinite spectrum of gender. So everyone can be a part of the gender spectrum. Everyone has a place. The problem... And this is where you start to expose them. When you make up your own gender, and these people see you make up your own gender, oh, they lose their minds. Because th what happens is, people that they want to fit in a category, oh, wait, no, no, we're this other category. And they make a, and this is what Gina Carano did, you know, beep, bop, boop. There was a, I think it was either Blair White or Laura Loomer, who sat back and said, well, I self-identify as an attack, well, I sexually identify as an attack helicopter. And they go, well, you, you, can't do, you can't do that. Well, no, no, no. There's an infinite. Infinite means that it's there at some point. It's like the idea of NASA. We will find life out there because space is infinite. So the odds of us finding life are actually pretty good. When you consider you have infinite space, you are going to have a hit at some point in time. You just got to keep throwing darts at the board. Eventually, you will get a bullseye. All right, no matter what the odds are. If you have an infinite number of darts, you will land a several bullseyes at some point in time after throwing it. doesn't matter what your skill is. And um, so in other words, attack helicopter, beep, bop, boop, those are pronouns somewhere. Someone has that gender, according to SJWs. But then they turn around and violate their own logic by saying, no, 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 you can't do that. Those genders don't exist. You're just making it up then there's not an infinite number of genders out there. And then she also comes in, you know, pointing out their hypocrisy in the second tweet uh, about how these people that are going out there are acting pretty, they're acting pretty bigoted. And probably no, I don't think trans people would like being represented by bigots. But anyway, you can see right here, this is what all these idiots are saying. I'm not going to read through all these because... Uh, I'm just going to leave this here for just a second. If you want to read this, just pause the video because I'm, I'm crunched for time at the moment. I'm trying to make this a... I'm trying not to go into a 20, 30 minute video because that's annoying to me when I, I read 20... I watch 20, 30 minute videos. I'm like, oh man, really? You can't... got to consolidate this. I'm trying to consolidate things here. But you can see where you've got multiple group... multiple people coming out just throwing a fit. And I'd be willing to bet that most of these people are different accounts. Are not actually, well, different accounts. They're probably the same person, but just different accounts. Because, for one thing, you see people using a heart at the end of everything. That is sort of a quirk that some people do. Uh, the fact that some of this stuff comes up, you can, and there's, there's a lot more of these on the internet. If you look through them, you'll find, like, over here, F you, you transphobic piece of F. Or F off, you stupid piece of F. Um, also, where they uh, say, dumb transphobic bitch, I hope you lose your job. You'll see that exact tweet with multiple different accounts. They don't have enough common sense, these dumb SJWs, to, you know, change it a bit. You could swap the words around. They got like five or six different accounts. And some, One guy asked me the other day, he goes, why is it SJWs? 
when they come in. They've got multiple accounts that they attack you with, and it's blatantly obvious when you see it that it's multiple accounts. I said, you know how they say, you know the old saying of, I, I only regret that I have one life to give for my country? He goes, yeah. I said, that's because these idiots, they actually have this concept of, well, I have five lives. If they get caught, that's going to be one of their defenses. Well, I was fighting for social justice. See, see, I have five different lives I dedicated to social justice. <laughs> I, I have dedicated myself five times over. You only have one account. Therefore, you can't be as dedicated as me. <laughs> You're more whatever, uh, whatever buzzword I have to throw at you, whatever buzzword I'm being accused of. You're more of it because you have only one life you're giving. I'm giving five or seven different profiles. I'm giving seven lives for this cause. It's, it's stupid. But you see where all this started right here was with Pedro Pascal. And, or Pascal. And uh, pretty much Pedro Pascal goes through a couple months of being harassed by these idiots. And what you see here is a bunch of idiots going in here and this one up at the top right here is one that I want to I want to step on right now just to prove my point of manufacturing bigotry. Hey Pedro Pascal or Pascal. I am one of the many trans fans. I'm one of many trans fans and I was just wondering if you would please put your pronouns in your bio. It helps normalize pronouns since lots of trans al trans fans and allies have been the victim of bullying purely for having pronouns in their account. Okay, this is like someone saying, Hey, Pedro Pascal, would you please eat a giant turd? Because I eat my own poop. And people make fun of me for eating my own poop. And if you eat your own poop, it'll help normalize eating poop. It's the same bullshit. Alright, uh, someone who's logical, who, who sits there and does this nonsense... And then they see the, the crap that they get and everyone starts making fun of them for it. They don't keep this going. They're like, okay, this was probably not a good idea. Reinvent myself one more time. Okay, we'll, we'll try to reinvent myself without the pronouns in the bio. These people, they must have problems. It's kind of like um, the reason why soap operas are still making money nowadays. Okay, there are some people that just, they have to have drama. And that's what soap operas are. They're not funny. <coughs> They're not intelligent. They're just pointless drama all the time, okay? Uh, even the action in it is is so subpar and lame compared to shows that do action better. Usually it's like, oh, uh, and it's, it's like very bad camera stuff. Though they'll show a car like flipping or some nonsense. It's not, it's not impressive at all. <laughs> but... The people who watch it, they have to have drama in their life. I, I, there was actually a funny story. Funny story. True story, actually. There was a pastor at our church one time who said he kept getting... He had this one woman in his church congregation who kept requesting prayer for people. And he said uh, it was prayer for, oh, this person had been shot by their ex. Um, this person's ex was cheating on them and they needed prayers. This woman has terminal brain cancer and all of a sudden they would just get better or, or some other nonsense and said he figured something was up one day when she said that this one person who had died they found out that she wanted to have a prayer praise because this person suddenly come back out it was just in a coma and they'd come back and then he got to stopping for a minute so he began to to look up the names of the people this woman was requesting it was everyone on days of our lives <laughs> and, and guiding light and all these other nonsensical uh soap opera the young and the restless it was all these people and this woman's out here <coughs> this woman's out here she's out there requesting prayer for all these fictional characters in a soap opera that's that's what this is okay like i said the demand for bigotry and oppression far exceeds the supply of bigotry and oppression. So therefore, we will invent pronouns to manufacture bigotry and oppression. Okay? That's all this is. It, it is nothing but we want to be oppressed. It's, it's just a person who walks in there and starts and hits themselves in the leg with a hammer just so they can go up. No, better yet. 
There was actually a video on Twitter at one point where I had a woman who thought her husband was cheating on her. So she decided she's going to put him in jail. And she hits herself in the face with a hammer. A hammer. A goddamn claw hammer. She's beating herself in the face with a goddamn claw hammer. Then she looks at her friend who's recording her and she goes, I'm going to feel really stupid if I find out that he wasn't cheating and I did all this to him. And she goes, and her friend goes, oh, he's a man. He doesn't deserve it. I think that, I think her friend was trying to screw her over so she could get her man. <laughs> it was hilarious. I'm like, wow, some people are just gluttons for punishment. And that's all this is. Oh, oh, like I said, a logical person, when they deal with pronouns, they just take them out of the bio and done, or you just don't, you know, do it. I mean, Gina Carano handled it pretty good. Padro Pascal puts in trans rights. Then he says, then he puts Pedro Pascal, he slash him. Then this guy, this is a win. We love the pronouns. Has his pronouns in his bio, despite being a cis dude. By the way, for those of you who don't know what a cis is, it sounds vaguely similar to a medical term. It is a medical definition of a growth inside of the body that must be removed. It can be cancerous, it cannot be, but it can cause pain and sorrow, and the only way to deal with a cyst is to remove it most of the time. Uh, that lets you know where, why, why in the world would you use cysts? It's kind of like, and like I said, this is kind of like when uh, someone says, you know, I don't like being called a cis, just call me straight. And they're like, but no, you're a cis. You're a cis, you have to be a cis. Maybe I don't want to be a cis. Maybe I'm not a cis. Maybe you're misgendering me, but these people don't care. Uh, you're a cis. And it's it's basically low-key. And like I said, they do this stuff so they can create this kind of manufactured outrage so they can have a monster to slay. Pedro Pascal was the guy they had to turn into. They, he was either going to be an ally, a, a cis ally, or a transphobe. There was not going to be any in between with these people, and Pedro Pascal makes the makes the idea of oh you know I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try and pacify these people by just doing this. Here's the thing, you know he does this, and Gina Carano mentions this now. Now this is this tells you everything you need to know about these people that are going after Gina Carano, and it, it kind of shows the people that are inside of Comicscape because it's the same mentality. This comic skate, this is why our movies suck, this is why our TV shows suck, this is why comic books suck, this is why games suck, this is why the Angry Chaney versus Angry Lesbian sucks so bad that it's now on its third freaking discount, which I have yet to do a video on. Anyway, Gina Carano. Yes, Pedro and I spoke, and he helped me understand why people were putting them in their bios. Now, tell me what about this is offensive to a normal person. I didn't know before, but I do now. She acknowledges it. She acknowledges she understands what was wrong, acknowledges that she didn't know before, and she does now. She says, I won't be putting them in my bio, but good for all of you who choose to. Okay? You're basically telling everyone, you know, I'm not gay, but I don't have a problem with the gay people. Okay? That's, that's what we're saying here. We're saying... I, and I, I tell people a lot of times, you know, you want to see what was the, this is, this here is peak 90s. You want to know what the 90s was like, a reflection of the 90s? Go watch Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold was a reflection of the 90s. You had kids that looked like, you had all kinds of weird shaped kids in your group that you knew in school in the 90s. And nobody gave a flying rip. Some of them were mean to each other. Sometimes they were not. And sometimes you had to eat crow. <laughs> some people that were mean had to eat crow. Sometimes the guys that hate you the most, the best one was Hey Arnold when he when he you know shows off some crazy dance moves and says he's crazy, and the bully is like, Harold is like, wow, you really are crazy. And it's like, kind of I respect you for coming out here, man, putting yourself on the line, showing off those awesome dance moves, and you know, you you got some self-confidence, man. I've got to give you props for it. That was the 90s. 90s was all about respect. Right, you. It was the respect era of the '80s where you had you had to pr give, prove yourself to everyone. But then it was also the '90s came along where it was just you know everybody accepts you for who you are. Nobody really cares. Okay, you're some country hick guy named Ziggy who grew a giant pumpkin. Guess what? The entirety of the the entire 
All your friends are coming out to help you. Well, you know, we're gonna break a we're gonna break a world record. All, all your friends got together. Your Asian friend, your country friend, your black friend, your fat friend, your skinny friend, the chick that likes you but secretly is mean to you. All of them get the really weird kid that does ballet and is really odd and you know took control of the you know locked himself in the principal's office with all the kickballs and was terrorizing the school. Yeah, you know. All those guys get together and they help you make the world's giant pizza, world's biggest pizza puff. So you can break a world record. That's That was the 90s. This is how she handles this, okay? This is why I like Gina Carano more and more. The more I see her Twitter, the more I begin to like her as a person. I stand against bullying, especially the most vulnerable, and freedom to choose. 100%. In other words... If y'all want to put, if y'all want to be this, be this. I don't care. This is a chick that grew up in the '90s, understands, and, and this is the thing about '90s people don't understand about millennials nowadays, is that millennials act like they want to be oppressed. They will not be satisfied. They're selfish and they don't care. They want everyone to change, to be their sanitized mentality. Their sanitized view, their perfect, pure utopia. And if it sounds really, really bad, it's meant to sound that way. By the way, here's the response. Us to Pedro for weeks. Put your pronouns in bio. It's important to the trans community. Pedro does it and understands. Gina Crono, put your pronouns in the bio. It's important to the trans, trans community. Gina, stop bullying me. It's my right to be selfish. It's not selfish. It's just, I want to be left alone. This is why Trump wins in 2020. Because nobody has enough common sense on the left to leave everyone else alone. People are so sick and tired of being griped at and chewed on. We're sick of seeing it in games. We're sick of seeing it in books. We're sick of seeing it in comic books. We're sick of seeing it in TV and movies. We're tired of the greatest, some of the greatest franchises ever made have been destroyed by talentless hacks that give into woke culture. People like this who want you to put a few stupid words that are made up that have real that have no real meaning other than what you give them in your bio. It's digital age arm banding. Okay? You're either going to have a swastika or a star of David when it's over with. That's that's where we're going nowadays. But, like I said, props to Gina Carano for doing this. I really think we should make boop, bop, beep a hashtag and make it trend. Just, <laughs> in my opinion, that should just trend right now. Uh, maybe we should do that. Maybe we should make beep, boop, bop, beep trend on Twitter just to irritate these people even more because that's how you, that's how you beat these people. You get humorous and you hit them with logic. Okay. They're going to get mad about this. They're going to throw their tantrum and then everyone's going to see them for the bigots that they are for the selfish, selfish race baiters that they have become. Anyway, folks. I'm the Last Raider. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the bell for notification. Helps us out over here. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.